There's an often told story of a girl driven to the realms of sadness, madness and violence. So I just ran, I didn't know what else to do, I just ran. A girl whose world we all know of, told us campfire tales, office gossip and whispers into the night. The story of the Ace of Spades. It was insane. I was insane. I'm Bernard Stringer, and this is Wild as the Hills, the Book of Kate. In 2019, the world was able to see real footage of a supernatural incident which took place during the Warrens' annual family holiday at Castle Farm in North Wales. Wild as the Hills Part Zero, as it was called, shined a light on a terrifying folklore tale we've all told for years. That of the Jesus. Kate Warren's birthday week was torn apart by mysterious mayhem. As party guests seemingly disappeared, it was evident that something, or someone, had a grudge to repay. The Jesus had begun his hunt. Now that is the smell of mystery and suspense. Oh, just the noise at the door. This is where they will have first had a clue that they were all about to die brutally at the hands of something that can only be described as insanely psychopathic. I love it. And the mirror! Oh, if this mirror could talk. Kate was left with no family, no friends, and a huge distaste for religious iconography. Well, it was terrible, as you can imagine. My entire family were killed. My children, my three children. It was bullshit. Here, at St Mary's Church, deep in the Black Mountains of South Wales, Kate's terrifying tale takes a turn for the Biblical. As the story goes, Kate's first opportunity for refuge was a small church. Inside, she would find the Jesus waiting to begin a chase between predator and prey that would last for years to come. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, I didn't know what was going on. Um, I saw this church I thought there might be somebody there that could help me and then there he was stood waiting it was terrifying so I just ran I didn't know what else to do I just ran hello now over here we have the pulpit but we don't think anything actually ever happened and over there we have the chair which sits next to the altar, where again, we're not sure anything actually happened. And up there in the gallery, we have an eagle-eye view of where we're not sure anything actually happened. Local folklore became enriched by the story of the Jesus, causing locals to avoid the area completely. It's really scary. The chase continued on to Lanthony Priory, a 12th century ruin nearby. Some believe that Kate and the Priory share a deeper connection than previously thought. Spiritual? Maybe. Storytelling convenience? Absolutely. The altar of Kate's demise is still visited by fans of folklore. <laughs> I'm scared. But the only one who truly knows the face of evil is the girl herself. He looks like he needed a good wash and um, a home-cooked meal. The memory of being killed by the Jesus took its toll. What came next was a confounding campaign of confusion which almost ruined her life. Kate's journey into madness wasn't an easy one. The spectral children that haunted Kate throughout her psychosomatic episode had more meaning than she knew at the time. It was insane. I was insane. It, it, I just, I, it, yeah, just like that. That's what it was like in my brain. I was like, what, what? You know, I mean, you must know. Why is the fruit so small? Am I a giant here? The fruit is terribly small. 
But then again, we could all be terribly large. Piecing together this soup of psychotic symbolism would be a task for the professionals. I don't really... I don't really remember it, just everything just went. Everything just went. And then I woke up in the mental institute. A world of ghostly children, cultish companions, tiny fruit and talking horses. No one could imagine the terror gripping Kate's mind. It was at this point that Kate got in touch with legendary French filmmaker Monsieur de Flux. Together they worked to recreate the visions that had plagued her mind in the form of a series of films. The Wild as the Hills saga gained popularity worldwide and went some way to giving Kate the peace of mind she so desperately needed. The images from her third film Absolution, which followed her recovery, were the subject of much controversy, particularly in Mexico. The country was plagued with riots after the film's release due to one of the scenes depicting Kate sticking two fingers up at a painting of Jesus. Well, I felt terrible. Um, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want riots to happen. You know, I'd like a tiny little person and I caused all that. I mean, I was dead mad with Jesus. I don't actually know why they kicked off so much because they saw what I'd been through. They saw what the Jesus had done to me. You know, of course I'm gonna stick my fingers up at him. I mean, you get it, don't you? After a long stay in Hayon Wai Psychiatric Hospital, Kate returned to Castle Farm with her family to begin her recovery. Welcome home! She spent her days revisiting the sites of her former peril, attempting to come to terms with the horrors that she'd seen. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I mean, why are you here? You mean, you don't remember? After discovering her mind was still forcing the narrative, Kate had a vision. A vision of a child holding a card emblazoned with the Ace of Spades. An eerie foreshadow of what was to come. And over here, we have the grassy knoll, where the original child stood, with the actual Ace of Spades. Right up here. Just right up. Right up there, that's where she actually stood. And that's the beginning, really, of the Ace of Spades saga. <sighs> Time for a break. After the realization that she was still mental, Kate went on a rampage of blood and carnage. Her attackers had finally reached their judgment day. It was time for reprisal. Over here, we have the original spade. Obviously quite battered since it was used to brutally murder several small children. But you can you can still see here and a little bit down here the blood stains. The gruesome scenes that unfolded here solidified Kate's delusions of power and led to a reckoning of plague-like proportions. Once her demons had been vanquished, Kate met an unusual woman keen to give her the answers she'd been looking for all these years. And so goes the story of Thaddeus, an ancient king who ruled the area eons ago. His twelve children were murdered by the ruler of a now lost kingdom to the east. The tale goes that the king of the east used a spade as the murder weapon, earning him the title the King of Spades. His bloodline continued through to Kate, the so-called Ace of Spades. In Thaddeus, the Jesus had found the perfect disciple to continue his campaign of terror. Finally, Thaddeus had a chance for revenge. Well, I'm not going with that fight. Well, every, everything made sense. Suddenly, it all came together. This is why all this awful stuff had been happening. You know, I mean, Thaddeus has obviously got mental issues. I get it, because his kids are dead. But that wasn't my fault. I was born hundreds of years later, you know. Now, we believe this is where the remaining children of Thaddeus may have played as Kate Warren came to kill them brutally. And she would have stood right there, she stood right there. Can you imagine how terrifying it must be to be a child in the face of that hideous evil? God. The waterfall would host the final showdown. Kate had had enough. Now, we believe that this may be the actual waterfall where the Ace of Spades card may have, may have tricked out. 
right here, right here. And over here, in our secondary excavation zone, we believe this is where the Thaddeus may have actually stood as he confronted Kate Warren. It's fascinating. During my travels around the area, I met local mystic Davina Forecaster. Knowing of Kate's story, she offered to do a card reading. The results were very interesting. Well, when you look at the tarot, you see it's all completely obvious. We have Kate in the middle here as the Queen of Swords. Now, what you must understand is that the sword suit in the tarot corresponds to the spades in an ordinary pack. That's the key. And she's crossed by the King of Swords, who, of course, must be Thaddeus. Now, we start this story over here. The Nine of Rods, it shows an awful lot of confusion. All of these people are holding rods and they're all over the place. Awful lot of confusion about this girl. And then that's followed by the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Look at this. This poor girl can't handle all these swords that are giving her such grief. And this one, the Ten of Swords, swords in the back. Now that obviously has to refer to all those children who were so awfully murdered. And then we have Death, which again backs up what I've just said. And then we have judgment, where Kate decides that judgment must be had. That's the whole key to this story. We have the hermit, which may well refer to Kate's period in the mental institution. When she came out, she was the magician. And if you can see on this card, the magician has magical powers. He's levitating things. And Kate must have realised at that point that she had the ability to do something about this situation. And with that realisation, this is followed by the devil, the hanged man and the tower. I mean, what more need I say? The three worst cards in the pack. But then, after she's done all her work, we have the justice card. She has justice. And that's not a surprise because she is the ace of spades, bitch. Running doesn't help. He's killed everybody I know. I bring them back in my own mind to have dinner parties with them. And then, oh, actually, this is real. Basically, your family had died again, you know, and um, yeah, found out it was Ace of Spades, thought, kick his ass. So, that's what I did, because I knew I could, so I did it. I'm the Ace of Spades, bitch. So the saga of Kate, of course, isn't over. Her mental well-being may be the best it's ever been. And she may truly believe that she has defeated the Jesus. But, oh, come on, what is going on? Oh, power cut. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Stay away from me! Stay away from me! No! level of 1 to 10 crazy bitches, how many crazy bitches are you? Then or now? Four? Je suis le fou petit, ou le monster? Family's having a poo. Family's having a poo. Family's having a poo. Family's having a poo. You mean you don't remember? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh, it's wild to stay on. <laughs> Shows your knife. Ooh. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Bra fucking <bow. laughs> So what went through your head? Wait. When... Oh. So with uh, uh one three. Wait. What... Go. One three, what went <laughs> Thank you.
Have you ever tried getting brain matter out of bed sheets?